Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today I wanted to give my thoughts on something that happened in the Padres Dodgers game. And so this was in the NLCS game two. There was a greater white fronted goose that actually came onto the field and the fans were all excited about it. Announcers were calling it a duck before uh, some experts weighed in and actually got the correct idea of the bird. So we're going to go through this article that kind of details it and I'm going to give my thoughts about the situation. So this article starts off. Great title, in my opinion, foul ball. Goose gets loose on field during eighth inning of Padres Dodgers NLCS game two. So the first picture they have here is that they were able to get the goose into a, um, a garbage bin to be taken off the field. So uh, this kind of indicates that the bird is probably either sick or injured or at the very least under extreme stress. If you're ever able to catch a bird, normally they're in pretty bad shape, a wild bird at least. So Doug's was saying there have been plenty of rally animals that make their way onto the baseball fields, cats, squirrels, monkeys, uh, but a goose. And so sometimes there will be like an animal that'll come on and the team that's losing will see it as good luck and they'll come back and win the game. This did not happen in this game. It was at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers were down and the Padres ended up still winning. So they thought maybe the goose was a Padres fan. But uh, here's the first first clip that you get to see of the greater white fern goose. I also have it as my background, but it's pretty small. So you'll see it here in the article. You can even hear them saying ducks are very aggressive in the background. So announcers are clearly not birders here, but uh, looks very freaked out, the uh, greater white fern goose. And they do clarify in the article. So it uh, flies in here. We'll have the sound just up just a little bit because it's pretty loud. So this is where they're trying to catch it and it flies. So it, it came onto the field and the thing about these types of geese, they're pretty common in the California area this time of year. They'll either be with big groups of other greater white fern geese or with other species of geese. And so it's kind of weird to just have one come in. Some people thought it may have been disoriented by the lights, which is a downside of having these huge sports stadiums with these giant lights. But I think it's weird that it's just one. I feel like one of an, out of a huge flock got disoriented, there'd be more. So I think this bird is probably sick or injured. I'm hoping after they caught it, they were able to take it to a rehab center. Um, people are asking for updates. I don't think we have one yet. So hopefully we hear something in the future. But in this next clip, where it shows the removal of the goose, you can see it, it. So it initially flies in and then it flies again and it kind of like falls on itself. And so it looks like either it might be a leg issue or a wing issue. You can see what you think as well. So here's where it flies the second time. And see, it kind of just plops down and falls. It's not the normal way a goose should be sitting. Um, and then they put the towel on it. They're able to get it get it into the bin to take it off the field. And, and hopefully it went to a rehab center, but I don't know for sure. A lot of kind of memes about this, you know, some different meme things going on, but it's kind of funny that for people who've never seen a greater white fern goose, you get your first one at Dodger Stadium. So a really interesting story. Hopefully it has a happy ending where the goose was taken to a rehab center and, and um, you know, it was treated for its injuries and could then be released. But we'll be waiting for an update and wanted to share this interesting story with you. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.